What's up guys, Inspector Gadget here, and as always, it's great to see your faces. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. Now, I noticed that, you know, Apple has been taking a hit, and people have been, you know, really switching over. I've seen people, seen people on Google+, Plus saying that they're switching over from Apple to Android, and I think that's great, but... You know, when you're switching from something like iOS to Android, um, there's going to be a lot of things that you don't know how to do, a lot of things that you don't understand. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and kick off a series that shows people how to become Android gurus. So this is going to be the first episode to show you how to become an Android guru. And the first thing we're going to toggle, toggle that's available on Android but not yet available in iOS is NFC. So today we're going to be showing how to use Android Beam with NFC to beam things from one device to the other. I'm going to be using the Galaxy Note 2 and the Nexus 7 tablet to show you guys how to do all this stuff. So without further ado, let's get inspecting. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got NFC turned on. So you want to go to settings and then more settings and then you want to scroll down to NFC and make sure it's turned on. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to beam a picture because we all love sharing our pictures, right? So I'm going to pick that one there and I promise you once you do this for the first time you'll be a pro, a guru at Android Beam. This is the sound you want to hear. Then tap and there you go you've beamed it from one device to the other now what Android does is it turns on your Bluetooth and it actually uses Bluetooth to handle the file transfer so it's actually you see it says incoming beam there and it's actually transferring it from the Galaxy Note 2 over to the Nexus 7 and we'll just wait for a few more seconds for it to complete that transfer and there it is transfer complete and you can go ahead and tap it so you can open up on the other device and here I've got to choose the application I want to use to open it. And there we go. The file has been successfully transferred to the other device. Now make sure your device actually has NFC before attempting to do any of this. Now I'm going to show you some other transfers and uh, some of them may not work the way that you expect them to. But here's transferring a web page from one device to another. And voila. Nice and easy. So here's transferring a Google Plus page. And there we go, just like we'd expect. When using Android Beam with games, the other device will open the game if it's installed. And if it's not installed, it'll just take them to the Google Play Store where they can purchase and or download the game. Another one not shown here is transferring music. It just won't work, at least not with Android Beam. But anyways, here's the last one, transferring a map and Voila. Works just as you'd expect it to. So that's it guys for episode one of how to become an Android guru guys. This is just the first episode of a series that we're going to do, a series of episodes of how to become an Android guru. So let me know in the comment section down below if you found this helpful and if you think that there's something that I omitted or something that I need to add uh, to this series. Anything that you guys want to see, all of you Android users out there that you think I should show people who are new to Android or maybe new to a smartphone, an Android smartphone, uh, show them how to do. So. Let me know, guys. I'm Inspector Gadget. You can follow me on all the social networks, and all the links for those are down below. And, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button as it helps me out more than you know. And if you want the latest and greatest in tech news and reviews, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm Inspector Gadget, and I will see you on the other side. <laughs>